Taylor, two legs to one ahead. And here now, so wow. absolutely emphatic in his belief and determination to win with the darts here to re-establish that two-leg cushion. Well, not scoring particularly well. Jack up. Taylor on 2-2-1, 175 ahead. So looking at least nine darts here, really. So looking good to go 3-1 ahead, coming downstairs with a cover shot. Wow. Hits it, very good on the cover shots, Phil Taylor, one of the best in the game, leaves himself 84 when he comes back. Beautiful switch from Taylor. Barry's really in a different game here in this leg. Yeah, just when he thought he got back. But, uh, just needs to start getting a bit of scoring. And if he does lose this leg, well, he's making a bit of a mark here. Could it be second 180? Just above. So Taylor now needing 84 for the checkout. Treble 20 would leave him double 12. He's on it. Two for double 12. Oh, wrong bed by a fraction. Double three and gets it. Talked about his cover dance. That's a superb switch there, having to come down to what many people regard as the hardest double on the board. And there it is, straight in. Yeah, a little bit of pressure on there, but obviously knew Jacob Bay was still quite a bit back in the leg. But double three, a very hard double to hit, but he pegged it with that third dart. Moves three one ahead. We've already seen Matt Walsh, Carlos Rodriguez, Wayne Mardle. And Mervyn King, who plays the winner of this game, already through to the second round. Can't imagine there's too many people out there who've taken Taylor at 16 to 1 on. But you never know, there might be a few who at the moment will be looking to their £1,600 investment and thinking wow. there's a hundred quid coming from there. Well, some people do have a go at that. Number 180 there from Taylor. Starting to get into the groove now, hitting the trebles. And once he starts hitting those trebles, you're in trouble. But Jacko fighting back. Needs another one at least here. Wow. That's good from Barry. They always say about Taylor, don't they, that he is so keen to be the first man to get his name on a new trophy. This is one he really wants. He wanted the Grand Slam last year. Wants it again, of course, this year, but this is a new wow. tournament and he wants to be the winner of it. He's on course. He Annoyed, though, not to have left himself on a finish. Yeah, he does. He always says he wants to be that first name, as you've said. Gives himself a new challenge, gets himself on that board and focuses. One of the best practices, as we've said, very professional, does everything right. Keeps himself to himself. That's quite, quite a lot of people around him, driving him. And coming away to the tournaments, as you said, brought his son over this weekend. Went to the football last night, so they really enjoyed it. But, uh, I'm sure his son will be enjoying this. Phil Taylor looking to go 4-1 ahead and one leg away from victory. Coming down for the cover shot. A bad lie on the treble there. Nice. Didn't hit it this time. Left himself an 87 finish. Barry 3-1 down. No finish, of course. 276 still required. Taylor looking to a 4-1 lead as we move towards the break in this match. Taylor is in command. Now can he take it out? Oh, shake of the head from Barry. Taylor moving in for treble 17. Double 18 for an 87 finish to go 4-1 ahead. And pegs it with the first out. No missing about from Phil Taylor. Taylor looking superb. He is in the groove at the moment. Barry is just not able to raise himself to Taylor's level. He's averaging 107, Phil Taylor. He's now leading by four legs to one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Six leg, it's still to throw first. Game on! 
So Phil Taylor within touching distance of a place in the second round. And you have to feel just a wee bit sorry for Jack O'Barry because so far he has not done himself justice. He's a better player than this, Alan. Wow. Well, he certainly is. Obviously found it difficult, Phil Taylor. The hardest draw probably in the tournament, without any doubt. Just wanted to make his mark, won that leg there. Just needs to maybe... Well, he has to win his leg, otherwise he's, he's going home. But uh, needs to do a bit more scoring like that. Wow. To get himself back into this match. Do himself justice. He'll be disappointed if he does lose 5-1. That's one in for Taylor. He's wow. averaging 106, nearly 107 is Taylor. Some of the matches coming up, you've got the world champion John Part up against the Scotsman Rob Thornton. The big Dutchman Roland Scholten against Suljevic. And then we've got Ronnie Baxter against another Dutchman. Two quick players, that one. That's not going to delay us too long. Vincent van der Voort. Taylor, Taylor came down for the cover shot and missed, so he's going back up to the 18s. Um, hits it with the last one. So Barry trailing in this leg. 4-1 down, so obviously needs to make a big impression here. Well, certainly have a go. Taylor is winning this one at a canter at the moment. You almost get the impression he's got another gear, and yet he is averaging now over 107, 108 now with that one. On for a maximum. There it is, maximum number three. And just as you say, Taylor maybe has got another gear. He shows it, and he's on double 14. That's all he needs now. Well, chance for Barry, treble 17. Well, he's missed it. Hit the 180 to leave the 1 2 1. Must have thought they had a chance, but then Taylor straight in with that 180. Now double 14 for a 5-1 win. puts him into the second round. I beg your pardon, Alan. This into the second round for Phil Taylor, needing now the double seven. He gets it! Phil Taylor wins by five legs to one. Barry is on his way back to Ireland. Phil Taylor, the tournament favourite, 11 to 8 on when it started. He'll be a little bit warmer than that now. Heading onwards towards the first prize. Maybe we'll see. say he doesn't mess about does he Phil Taylor a 5-1 winner over Jack O'Barry we'll of course get reaction from Phil and up here on the balcony after the break and next we'll see the Canadian in action the current and three-time world champion Darth Maple <laughs>